Eyewitness News. New York will be the home to the first national semiconductor technology center in our country. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine shares the impact this will have on the state. It's a landmark day for the capital region, for New York, and for the United States of America. The first National Semiconductor Technology Center will be located at the Albany Nanotech Complex, an $825 million initial federal investment for chip research and development. The initial $825 million will build out the equipment for Albany Nanotech's EUV research. EUV stands for Extreme Ultraviolet lithography. This is one case where extreme is good. <laughs> this is some of the most advanced technology in the world and critical to all semiconductor manufacturing. For years, federal and state money has been allocated to help establish New York as a hub for chip manufacturing. Just last month, $4.7 million from the federal government was announced for workforce training associated with Albany Nanotech. But it's not just the capital region seeing investments in the industry. So many new companies, Micron's big investment in Syracuse, Wolfspeed in Utica, Global Foundries in IBM here in the capital region, Edwards Vacuum in western New York. And all of these companies need places to train their workers and improve their technology. And that's what NSTC will do right here in their backyard. Governor Kathy Hochul says companies such as Micron came to New York with a promise that the state would deliver a highly educated workforce, something that's being worked on. Within the nine counties around Syracuse, for example, where Micron will be, we are literally changing the curriculum. The teachers union has worked with Micron, has worked with us to invest the money to change and re-educate the whole uh, the teachers and make sure that computer science classes are being taught at younger ages so when students graduate they'll have a leg up on students elsewhere in the country. In Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. To stay up to date on your local news, sports and weather, visit our website cnyhomepage.com and don't forget to download our CNY homepage app so you never miss the local news that matters. After the break, meteorologist Darius Stringer has our eyewitness weather forecast. Stay with us. We'll be right back.